Caritas come home from uh, my vineyard. I should be uh, allowed to share my screen. Presentazione che, come dicevo, ci aiuterà anche. Sì. With your presentation, you will tell us about some specific uh, quality, some specific varieties of uh, uh, grapes to understand the uh, composition of uh, grapes depending on water stress. Non ancora. Io faccio condivisione, ma non è attivo. Nezza, you should perhaps Nezza, you should perhaps abilitate him. Diamo qualche secondo, Giovanni, a alla regia per sì. ecco adesso perfetto grazie prova uh, l'ospite uh, no uh, non, non lo sono non mi vedo ah, era comparsa la scritta allora Purtroppo ho, ho due device e quindi eh, ho bisogno di essere abilitato sull'altro device per la condivisione. Prova adesso eh, Giovanni, che ho provato anch'io a... Ah, ok, perfetto, perfetto, grazie. Ok, now it works. Ok, eccomi qua. Allora... Here I am. Vedo, uh, vedo la presentazione, quindi inizio... I can see my presentation, I can start. Good evening. I want to thank l'informatore agrario for organizing this meeting and Pessel Instruments, uh, uh, Gottfried in particular, for making the discussion possible about the management of water uh, conditions in vineyards. I am an agronomist. <coughs> I try and uh, grow uh, and produce great wines. I work in this sector. When I am in my vineyards, I normally monitor what happens. As I have been doing this for a long time, I found that there are parameters that can better describe the potential of a vineyard. These parameters our yield, exposed uh, leaf uh, surface, uh, the health of uh, grapes, the type of bunch, and the water condition of the plant. Also vegetation vigor, biodiversity, and the age of the vineyard. These nine uh, parameters are part of the bigot index, my index, but I will tell you uh, about what I found and the strong relation between quality and water management. Uh, light uh, stress, uh, water stress is fundamental for the quality. I was lucky enough to be involved in the management of many vineyards in Italy, uh, France uh, and other countries. where the natural mixture of soil, the type of soil, the depth of the roots and of the water regime can determine a natural factor that allows the vine to grow with a limited quantity of water during a certain stage of uh, its growth, in particular during the formation of the berry. So it is a great tool to regulate the quality 
of uh, uh, grapes and therefore of wines. Why is it important to manage water in a vineyard? Many scientific uh, experiences I will tell you about and practical experience as well. I have seen with my working group tell us that a limitation in the water uh, availability during uh, water formation, uh, during berry formation can improve the quality of the grape. So you modify the parameters of, uh, of, of grape and uh, the organolectic qualities. In some areas, this happens naturally, and these are the most vocated terroirs. We are aware of this, but we are also aware that climate change can impact a balanced situation, and therefore uh, 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 management is required. Some works have been done. You see here two levels of stress, uh, sugars, uh, the pH in mast, uh, anthocyanins and polyphenols, uh, polyphenols uh, the structure of a wine, its color, its tannic con content is modified by different levels of stress. On black wine, on Pinot, uh, noir, uh, a study has been uh, conducted. As you can see from the broken lines in these small boxes that show you the trend of the leaf water potential, the water content in the leaves before dawn, pre dawn water content, uh, evaluating how much water is present in a vine at a certain time of the day, you see that anthocyanins mod are modified and increase in with a light stress. If compared with uh, large water availability, they modify polyphenols and the quality of tannins and the bouquet of the wine changes. Uh, and this can be applied to different uh, type of wines and each vine responds differently to these variations. We should always be able to follow each type of uh, uh, vine uh, and each different uh, terroir. The effects of excess water, excess water availability. We have uh, evidence that uh, a vegetation growth with uh, abundant water favors large berries, diluted, compact bunches that are very sensitive to uh, diseases, uh, to rottening, and a low quality of uh, uh, grapes. Differently, an excessive water stress, the opposite condition, can alter the regular growth of the vine that is delayed and cannot uh, and might not come to completion. So in order to have a good quality wine, you need some stress, not an excessive stress, not to make uh, uh, the growth uh, difficult, impacting vegetation. Uh, be careful with too early water stress. Water uh, abundance, uh, remarkable water differences, water uh, supply differences can uh, damage the development of the vegetation and of the berry. And I cannot get the optimum ratio between vegetation and grapes. If the water stress is excessive and happens at mid-season after very zone, after fruit, uh, fruit set, uh, we might have problem in maturation and we might have an increase in bricks 
sugars that are a scarce indicators of quality because uh, grapes seem to be maturing, but it is just a migration of the uh, carbohydrates reserves of the vine. Uh, there, it is not the result of photosynthesis. Many aromas develop in the last weeks of growth, but uh, late stress can limit their development. Therefore, a high level of stress tend to produce uh, low fruity uh, uh, wines with very little aromas and with a very short life. A typical aging seems to be due, seems to be due to a stress syndrome in which water is the key element, together with the availability of nitrogen. Water stress and terroir, something we have seen in Cheval Blanc in Bordeaux and in other places, areas that, are, uh, that have a soil with gravel uh, very well dredged, allow the roots uh, that intercept water reserves uh, without stimulating an excessive vegetation in vines can bring us to the uh, best possible mixture of conditions. So we have a vegetation uh, that is uh, in perfect balance with, uh, uh, with the fruit production. I can also reduce uh, the size of the berries by uh, acting on water stress. And when I say water stress, I intend to use a mixture uh, of a coating crop in a different way to limit the height of a crop, 30 centimeters of uh, grassing can can contain, can lead to four or five uh, uh, milliliters of water lost per day. So we can manage the water shortage, the water uh, supply. If I intervene in an early stage, I can have uh, different uh, punches. If I, if I enact an excessive stress, water stress, I reduce the size of the berry too much. And this reduction can reach 50% um, of, of the quantity of, of, of uh, grape produced. Let us uh, uh, see a study uh, performed in Italy by Pagliotti and Poni on Sangiovese and Monte Pulciano in well irrigated soils and in conditions of very strong stress before fruit set, before Verazon we can have uh, different reactions in the two types of uh, grapes. These two uh, vines have a totally different behaviors uh, with water. They manage water uh, differently. And you can clearly see that one uh, vine reacts positively, the other instead has a very negative reaction to water stress which means that if we go back to uh, uh, Sant'Emilion, you see that uh, the crew are characterized by water management much more than in other cases. How can we avoid uh, an atypical aging of the vines? I have to avoid a severe water stress. And then there are uh, studies about Sauvignon Blanc that with the moderate uh, uh, water stress, a little after the raison, with the stem water potential lower than 0.65%, uh, 
can allow me to increase uh, the uh, uh, three times uh, the concentration of the precursor of 3MH in uh, uh, mast. And this is obtained with a slight uh, water stress. I can triple the uh, aroma potential one of the most uh, important uh, elements. A final review, uh, considering many works done uh, for each type of vine, you can see that for each vine, the results are different, polyphenols, anthocyanins, Cabernet is behaving differently, you see Sauvignon Blanc, you can see it here. So we have behaviors that are different and that depend on the type of vine. We cannot ignore this, we cannot neglect this. I will conclude by saying that putting together the studies I have considered and uh, uh, the reactions we have uh, collected, I have been able to present this connection that says that severe water stress that we see in this first uh, set of uh, uh, numbers, you have uh, uh, a lot of uh, alcohol, uh, less green and pyrazine, uh, a totally uh, absent water stress uh, as means more green, more pyrazine, shorter wines, less polyphenols, total polyphenols. In the, uh, in the uh, uh, condition in, in, in the middle, you see uh, the best possible balance. We can do the same with the Four Grapes app that allows you to measure the different parameters, including the water stress. We can measure uh, the leaf water potential. If you want to follow me, I have a YouTube channel. Uh, if you want, uh, we uh, talk about this every uh, morning. I pass the floor back to Mr. Boschetti. Thank you, Giovanni. A very interesting presentation. Perfectly on time. Your final slide perfectly uh, shows uh, the need for uh, a, a, a vine grower to maintain the balance, to be in the middle. Not too much alcohol, but not too little. Uh, we want a wine we can sell at 30 euros a bottle, but we need tools in order to reach this balance. 